subscribe to pyprotix for python and competitive programming and boost up station for technical videos today we are going to check if a number is power of 2 or not and this process will be done in constant time it means order of 1 by doing just one operation we can check if a number is power of 2 or not so let us write some of the powers of 2 first 2 4 8 16 32 their binary presentation in 8 bits we are going to write 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 now for 4 8 for 16 and for 32 so we have written the binary representation of all of the numbers which are power of 2 and on the right side we are going to write all of the numbers which are not power of 2 1 3 7 15 31 6 18 and write the binary representation of all these numbers in terms of 8 bits So these are the binary representation of all the numbers which are not power of 2 and in the power of 2 numbers you can see that we have a single one all others are 0 right and in this case when we don't have the powers of 2 you can see that we have more than one ones more than one ones right if we just don't take this one for a second so now to check if a number is power of 2 we are going to use a hack what the hack is we are going to do an end operation of n and n minus 1 so if the number is 2 we are going to do an end operation with 1 number is 4 we are going to do an end operation with 3 8 will be done with 7 16 will be done with 15 and so on so let us try doing it so 2 end with 1 will be giving us all of the zeros on the left side then the number and for 1 we will be using the same binary representation of 1 and if we do the end operation of these both you can see that the property of end says if both of them are 1 then only the output will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 else okay so this is the property of an end bitwise operator so you can see that we have 0 0 will be the output for it which means that the number is equal to 0 now let us see for 8 and 8 will be doing end with 7 write the binary representation of 8 here and the binary representation of 7 and do an end it will also be a 0 right so this is also equal to 0 let us consider some of the examples from these ones like 6 and 18 so 6 and will be done with 5 right so let us write the binary of 6 first and the binary of 5 also binary of 5 will be this 1 0 1 all right and now if we are doing an end operation with it this will be 0 0 and 1 and 1 will be a 1 all others will be 0 on the left side so now you can see that this number is not equal to 0 not 0 so clearly you can see that 6 is not the power of 2 because it is giving us a number which is not equal to 0 let us check for 18 also 18 and will be done with 17 let us write them the binary representation of 18 and for 17 and do an end of both of these it will be giving us one here because both of these are one in the vertical line and zero here also you can see that the number is not equal to zero so what we will be saying in the output is 18 is not the power of 2 so 1 is also the power of 2 we shouldn't have brought this here it should come on the left side where we have written all of the powers of 2 because 1 is 2 raised to power 0 which is equal to 1 so 1 is also the power of 2 
we can check it right here let me show you one will be done end with one less than one is zero so write the binary presentation of one and write the binary presentation of zero for zero it will be all zero and the output of doing end between zero and one will be zero so you can say that it is also a zero so one is also a power of two right let us quickly code it in the python language f check if power of two you will be given a number right so you'll be just returning the number doing end with number minus one all right let us print now check if power of two and we are going to check for four let me copy it and paste them test check for 32 1024 now we are going to give some of the numbers which are not power of two okay let's take three also and run it now you can see that first three numbers are power of two so it is giving us all of the zeros and for other numbers which are not power of two it is giving something else so we just have to put a condition here let's store it in x variable and if x equal equals to zero we are going to return string formatting let us use it number is power of two and otherwise we can return number is not power of two let us run it now and here is the results four is power of two 32 is power of 2, 1024 is also a power of 2, and these numbers are not power of 2. Alright. So please subscribe to Pipro Tricks and Boost Up Station. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.